Endocrine 4. Question 1. Which of the following is a key function of the endocrine system? A. Regulating and coordinating vital bodily functions like growth, metabolism, and reproduction. B. Producing and secreting digestive enzymes into the small intestine. C. Pumping blood throughout the body to deliver oxygen and nutrients. D. Protecting the body against pathogens and foreign substances. Answer A. Regulating and coordinating vital bodily functions like growth, metabolism, and reproduction. Rationale. The endocrine system is a series of glands and tissues that produce and secrete hormones used by the body to regulate and coordinate vital bodily functions, including growth and development, metabolism, sexual function and reproduction, sleep and mood. Question 2. What is the role of the pineal gland? A. It produces hormones that control the pituitary gland. B. It is important for maintaining calcium levels in the bones and blood. C. It secretes melatonin, which regulates sleep patterns. D. It produces hormones that regulate functions such as blood pressure and heart rate. Answer C. It secretes melatonin, which regulates sleep patterns. Rationale. The pineal gland, located at the base of the brain, secretes the hormone melatonin, which is responsible for regulating sleep patterns. Question 3. Which gland is located in the front part of the neck and is important for metabolism? A. Adrenal gland. B. Thyroid gland. C. Pituitary gland. D. Thymus gland. Answer B. Thyroid gland. Rationale. The thyroid gland is located in the front part of the neck and is very important for metabolism. Question 4. The parathyroid gland is crucial for controlling the levels of which substance in the bones and blood? A. Insulin. B. Melatonin. C. Calcium. D. Aldosterone. Answer C. Calcium. Rationale. The parathyroid gland is located in the front of the neck and is important for maintaining control of calcium levels in the bones and blood. Question 5. Which gland is found on top of each kidney and produces hormones important for regulating blood pressure, heart rate, and stress response? A. Pancreas. B. Pituitary gland. C. Adrenal gland. D. Thyroid gland. Answer C. Adrenal gland. Rationale. One adrenal gland can be found on top of each kidney and produces hormones important for regulating functions such as blood pressure, heart rate, and stress response. Question 6. What is the endocrine function of the pancreas? A. Controlling blood sugar levels. B. Regulating sexual function and reproduction. C. Aiding in the development of white blood cells. D. Influencing growth and reproduction. Answer A. Controlling blood sugar levels. Rationale. The pancreas is located in the abdomen behind the stomach, and its endocrine function involves controlling blood sugar levels. Question 7. A client presents with a moon face, thin extremities, and purplish-red striae. These signs are characteristic of which condition? A. Addison's disease. B. Diabetes insipidus. C. Cushing syndrome. D. Acromegaly. Answer C. Cushing syndrome. Rationale. The clinical manifestations of Cushing syndrome include a rounding of the face, moon face, thin extremities, and purplish-red striae. Question 8. A patient with acromegaly would likely exhibit an over-secretion of which hormone? A. Thyroid-stimulating hormone, TSH. B. Adrenocorticotropic hormone, ACTH. C. Growth hormone, GH. D. Antidiuretic hormone, ADH. Answer C. Growth hormone, GH. Rationale. Oversecretion, hypersecretion of the anterior pituitary gland most commonly involves ACTH or GH, with acromegaly resulting from an excess of GH in adults. Question 9. What is the most common disorder of posterior pituitary lobe dysfunction? A. Cushing syndrome. B. Diabetes insipidus. C. Acromegaly. D. Sheehan syndrome. Answer B. Diabetes insipidus. Rationale. The most common disorder of posterior pituitary lobe dysfunction is diabetes insipidus, a condition where an abnormally large volumes of dilute urine are excreted. Question 10. A patient with hyperthyroidism is experiencing which of the following findings would be expected? A. Elevated blood pressure and weight loss. B. Bradycardia and weight gain. C. Constipation and cold intolerance. D. Lethargy and slow speech. Answer A. 
elevated blood pressure and weight loss. Rationale, a patient with hyperthyroidism may exhibit systolic hypertension and increased heart rate and weight loss despite an increased appetite. Question 11. What is the primary objective in the medical management of hypothyroidism? A. Surgical removal of the thyroid gland. B. Administering diuretics to reduce edema. C. Restoring a normal metabolic state by replacing the missing hormone. D. Administering beta-adrenergic blockers to slow the heart rate. Answer C. Restoring a normal metabolic state by replacing the missing hormone. Rationale. The primary objective in the management of hypothyroidism is to restore a normal metabolic state by replacing the missing hormone, often using synthetic level thyroxine. Question 12. A patient with myxedema coma requires mechanical respiratory support. What is the rationale for this intervention? A. Myxedema coma is associated with severe hypothermia. B. The patient's oral medication absorption is unreliable due to paralytic ileus. C. Myxedema coma is the most severe form of hyperthyroidism. D. The condition can lead to depression of the basal metabolic rate. Answer D. The condition can lead to depression of the basal metabolic rate. Rationale. Myxedema coma represents the most severe form of hypothyroidism, which results in a general depression of the basal metabolic rate and slows the functioning of every system of the body, potentially requiring mechanical respiratory support. Question 13. What is the most sensitive test to evaluate thyroid function by measuring pituitary TSH secretion? A. Serum 3 and 4 levels. B. Water deprivation test. C. Pituitary growth hormone test. D. Thyroid stimulating hormone test. Answer D. Thyroid stimulating hormone test. Rationale. The TSH test is the most sensitive test to evaluate thyroid function by measuring pituitary TSH secretion. Question 14. The nurse is caring for a patient with diabetes insipidus. Which of the following is a priority intervention? A. Encouraging a high-sodium diet. B. Monitoring intake and output every one to two hours. C. Restricting fluid intake to prevent polyuria. D. Administering diuretics to increase urine output. Answer B. Monitoring intake and output every one to two hours. Rationale. The nursing care for a client with diabetes insipidus focuses on managing fluid and electrolyte problems, which includes monitoring intake and output, urine-specific gravity, vital signs, skin turgor, and neural function every one to two hours during the acute phase. Question 15. What is the primary cause of diabetes mellitus? A. The body's inability to produce glucagon. B. Abnormalities in the pancreas that lead to an overproduction of insulin. C. Deficient insulin secretion, insulin action, or both, leading to hyperglycemia. D. Excessive absorption of carbohydrates from the diet. Answer C. Deficient insulin secretion, insulin action, or both, leading to hyperglycemia. Rationale. Diabetes mellitus is a group of metabolic diseases characterized by increased levels of glucose in the blood, hyperglycemia, resulting from a deficiency in insulin secretion, insulin action, or both. Question 16. Which of the following is a classic clinical manifestation of all types of diabetes? A. Blurred vision. B. Weight gain. C. Polyuria, polydipsia, and polyphagia. D. Tingling or numbness in the hands or feet. Answer C. Polyuria, polydipsia, and polyphasia. Rationale. The classic clinical manifestations of all types of diabetes include the three Ps, polyuria, polydipsia, and polyphasia. Question 17. A patient with type 1 diabetes is experiencing diabetic ketoacidosis. What is the underlying cause of this condition? A. An overproduction of insulin. B. A complete absence or a markedly inadequate amount of insulin. C and overconsumption of carbohydrates. D, resistance to insulin action. Answer B, a complete absence or a markedly inadequate amount of insulin. Rationale, DKA is caused by an absence or a markedly inadequate amount of insulin, which results in disorders in the metabolism of carbohydrates, protein, and fat. Question 18, what is the primary goal of diabetes management? A, to eliminate all carbohydrates from the diet. B. To use only oral medications to control blood sugar levels. C. To normalize insulin activity and blood sugar levels to reduce complications. D. To achieve rapid weight loss through a strict exercise regimen. Answer C. 
to normalize insulin activity and blood sugar levels to reduce complications. Rationale, the main goal of diabetes treatment is to normalize insulin activity and blood sugar levels to reduce the development of vascular and neuropathic complications. Question 19. A nurse is teaching a patient with diabetes about exercise. Which of the following is a potential risk associated with exercise for a person with diabetes? A. Improved insulin sensitivity. B. Lowering of blood glucose levels. C. Precipitation of hypoglycemia. D. Promotion of cardiovascular fitness. Answer C. Precipitation of hypoglycemia. Rationale. While exercise has many benefits for a person with diabetes, a potential risk is the precipitation of hypoglycemia, especially if the person is on insulin or oral agents. Question 20. A patient with type 2 diabetes is taking metformin. How does this medication work to control blood glucose levels? A. It stimulates the release of insulin from the pancreas. B. It increases the body's tissue sensitivity to insulin and inhibits glucose production by the liver. C. It delays the absorption of complex carbohydrates in the intestine. D. It increases the number of insulin receptors on cells. Answer B. It increases the body's tissue sensitivity to insulin and inhibits glucose production by the liver. Rationale. Bigunides, such as metformin, inhibit the production of glucose by the liver and increase the body's tissue sensitivity to insulin. Question 21. What is the primary cause of iatrogenic Cushing syndrome? A. An adrenal adenoma or carcinoma. B. Excessive ACTH production. C. Chronic leukocorticoid therapy. D. A tumor of the pituitary gland. Answer C. Chronic leukocorticoid therapy. Rationale. Iatrogenic Cushing syndrome is caused by excessive cortisol levels resulting from chronic glucocorticoid therapy. Question 24. A patient with Cushing syndrome has excessive adrenocortical activity. Which of the following is a classic sign of this condition? A. Hypotension. B. Weight loss. C. Increased muscle mass. D. Moon face and buffalo hump. Answer D. Moon face and buffalo hump. Rationale. The clinical manifestations of Cushing syndrome include a rounding of the face, moon face, and fat deposits on the back of the neck and shoulders, buffalo hump. Question 25. A nurse is preparing a patient for a water deprivation test. This test is used to assess for which condition? A. Cushing syndrome. B. Diabetes insipidus. C. Acromegaly. D. Hyperthyroidism. Answer B. Diabetes insipidus. Rationale. The water deprivation test is used to assess for diabetes insipidus as a decreased level indicates the condition. Question 26. An acromegaly may exhibit which of the following clinical manifestations? A. Decreased size of hands and feet. B. Narrowly spaced teeth. C. Deepening of the voice. D. Increased height in an adult. Answer C. Deepening of the voice. 